It's here. We just received this package from Fabrico containing the parts we need for our next build series, this time featuring a Micron Plus. If you don't know, the Micron Plus is the 180mm variant of the popular Micron printer. Check out the links in the description for more information about the Micron and the Printers for Ants project. Let's see what's in the box. First up, we have the Rapido. We plan on printing fairly quick with this little guy, and the Rapido is a great hot end for the job. We purchased this separately, a hot end isn't included in the kit. Next is the LDO motor kit. LDO is making this kit specific for the Micron and included a round pancake stepper for the extruder, but to our surprise, the BMG gears were not included. Moving on, we have the BTT Manta M8P. This board is brand new to us, but it seems like a great solution to the Raspberry Pi shortage. We're super excited to see how all this works. Next up, we have the BTT U2C. We may not actually need this because we're going to attempt to use the Manta in Cambridge mode first, but it's always better to have it not need. Now let's check out the EBB36. This is another BTT part that will be our tool head breakout board. And moving on to the CB1. This is another new one to us, but is essentially a Raspberry Pi that can be directly connected to the Manta. Yay, ducks. Next we have the power supply. It's a 24 volt, 200 watt Meanwell UHP power supply, definitely more than enough power for the job. Now let's take a look at the build plate. Everything looks to be the usual LDO high quality and we love the black textured PEI sheet. We were a little surprised that the heating pad wasn't already attached like many of the other kits we built recently. Next, we have the LDO Micron Plus hardware kit. This kit has all the nuts, screws, and many of the other hardware pieces required for building the printer. Moving on, we have the armor on SSR. Pretty standard stuff here, just the usual SSR. And the AC inlet, also standard. Next is the Honey Badger fans. These fans are designed for the mini stealth burner, and we're super excited to see how they perform. And the Honey Badger rails. There's six 7mm rails and a single 9mm for the x-axis. These rails come pre-lubricated, so won't require any work before we can put them into action. Now the LDO Motion Kit. Just all the belts and pulleys for the build, not, not a lot to see in there. And the LDO Frame Kit. These extrusions are definitely the same usual high quality extrusions we've come to expect from LDO kits. Lastly is the LDO panel kit. Everything looks great and we're more excited than ever to get into this build. That's everything we've ordered so far. Some of the more keen observers among you might have noticed that there's no wiring or electronics fans, cable chains, and a few other items that we'll have to sort separately. We'll cover the complete build, electronics, and configuration in future videos, so make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out.